All right, let's do tutorial one in uh, Sibelius now. We'll start out with a new score, and I'm just going to use lead sheet because it's the closest thing to a default score, and then I'll click finish. I'm not going to do any of the other um, setup right now. Okay, we're going to add our time signatures first, um, and I'll start with 8-1. Uh, okay, make sure you turn off allow cautionary. Click OK. You can see your cursor is now blue, so that means it's loaded, and I click there. Okay, so I'm going to click on my next measure, and also go ahead and add a time signature of 3-1, and again, tur turn off allow cautionary, so that will... Okay, and so there we are. All right, we are ready to enter our notes, so we'll click on the first whole note, uh, type a 6 to turn it into a whole note, All right, and uh, we'll play the notes in. And then... All right, so we've got that done. Um, notice that my cursor is still loaded. There's still a note hanging in there. You have to get press the escape key to get that to let go. I'm going to click on the first chord, go up to the Create menu, Text, Other Staff Text, and click Select Roman Numerals, and then type in my Roman Numeral Analysis. All right, so we've got that selected. Now, the next thing I want to do is I want to copy this to all of the, um, I want to copy everything I've done. And to do that, I need to use a system selection as opposed to just a regular selection like that, which is blue. Um, if I hold the Command key down and click, I get a system selection, which is a double purple uh, box. And then I'll use the Shift key to click on the next measure. And then to copy, all you do is you hold the, shift key, the Option key down and click in each measure where you want to put. Okay, you don't have to worry about being right at the beginning of the measure, um, and so I just want to do this, and so it's fairly quickly. And one, and one more. Okay, and so now we have our 15 keys. I'm going to to get rid of the rest of them. I also have to do a system selection. So again, holding down the command key, and then the shift key to the end, and the backspace to get rid of that. Now, let's put all of these on uh, uh, four measures on a staff line. Um, there's not a real easy way to, to get rid of this, so the easiest way I found is just simply to click on the bar lines. Oops. No, you have to click on them first. Click on a bar line and press the return key. And that it's not ideal, but that's the best way I've found so far. If you know of a better way, please tell me. So I'll do all of that. A couple more. Yes. All right. So now we have all of we have. Uh, 15 keys of C, so now we need to change the keys. Um, transposing also requires some system text, uh, or system selection, so you're again holding the command key down and then shift key to select that first one. Then I'm going to use the shortcut for transpose. It's, transpose is found under the notes menu, sh command T or uh, shift T, and so I'll use that. And uh, when you select it as a system text, you get the option to transpose key signatures. And so you set the options, transpose key signatures, change key at start. Okay. And then we select our key, and we want to go up to the key of G. And click OK. okay. And we then will do the same thing for each subsequent key. Oops. Find the, the the system selection just a little clunky, uh, but it's better than having to do it uh, all manually. Now the other thing we'll do is we'll also after you create your key signature, write and hide them. Now if you were just entering key signatures in separately, and I'll show you how to do that just in a second, um, you can also hide it just from the from the start. And so for example, uh, but then you have to do the transposition separately. And so then you would do, you would select like this, okay, and then we open up the transposition. I will transpose this down to A, okay, but you see now I don't have the option to transpose the key signatures. 
Okay, so this is transposed down to A, and then I can add a key signature with a K, and I'll use the key signature and I select hide, and that places a key signature, and you can see that the accidentals are, are right there. This doesn't really make any difference, though, because as soon as I select all and then go up and do reset uh, under layout, reset note spacing, you'll see that these get moved over, too. So it, it really is six of one, half a dozen the other. You get to decide which way you think is the best way to go ahead and do this. Okay, so I ended up deciding that I, I like this method the best, where I just select it, go ahead and transpose it separately, and then add the key. While it's still selected, just press the key signature and make sure you hide it. And so that, that seemed to me that that ended up being probably just a little bit quicker than the other methods. So I am using a lot of shortcuts, though. If you don't know the shortcuts, that really does take some time. Okay, and so we'll do that. And uh, make sure you click hide for those so you don't have to redo those. Now, these first couple, I didn't do it that way, so I'll select all now, and I will reset the note spacing. And so now they all look, it all looks just fine, and it's all pretty, uh, pretty close to being, to having everything together. I won't be needing the keypad anymore, so we're done there. Um, let's go ahead and uh, enter in, oops, not T. Um, we go ahead and create some text. We need a title. And uh, that is major scales and primary triads. And we also want to create a composer text. Let me show that again. There we go. Composer. And I can spell my own name. And uh, get rid of. Yeah, we want to delete that. We want to delete that. Yes. Get rid of all of that stuff. Okay, so now our next step, we need to get rid of all of these time signatures because I really don't want those there either. So to get rid of those, now we're going to go up to the Edit menu, and this is uh, and use the Advanced Filter, Filter, Advanced Filter, to select just the time signatures. And I have this all set up already. So you select Text and Text here, and then in the Text window, select None first, and then select your time signatures click select and you'll see that they are now all selected and I can right click any one of them and select hide and they will all be hidden. Okay, So these are all hidden time signatures now so when we print we won't see these at all. Our la so our next step really is just simply to get all of these into one page and so to do that we're going to go up to layout and document setup Right, and then we start looking at our staff size, and we just decrease it until we get what we're looking for. Let's see how many we got? One, two, three, four. And we're just about there. Let's see, is that it? Nope, I still have one more to go. Okay, so we'll try one a little bit smaller. And I think that did it. Okay, and now we have everything on one page. Let's go ahead and view this at um, so it fits the page. Okay, and so there we have it. And that looks pretty good. So now we'll go up to the File menu. We will select Save. And let's, uh, okay. And then we will also select Print. And we will now print it as a PDF. So save as a PDF. Okay. And make sure that it has the correct name. Um, go ahead and change that to Tutorial 1. And we are done.